This is Joe Wayne with the Anti COINTEL Pro Show and InstinctForSurvival.com. Well, folks, I have a different video for you today. Now, this video is not focusing on the big picture like I normally do. This video is going to be centered on the lives of the corrupt puppet politicians before they get onto the national stage. I had a respondent, a subscriber. Now, this subscriber was basically butchered, and he was butchered by a doctor not once, not twice, but three times, folks. Butchered three times. Now, and the reason I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this story, I'm, I'm you know, doing a lead up to um, the actual video is, like I said, I want you to be able to get a feel uh, for what's going on. Before these puppet politicians on the national stage get to the national stage, now, first and foremost, folks, I'm sure that you all know, um, if you're watching this channel, then you are a politically astute person. You're not a casual observer of politics or news. You're a junkie like myself, right? Some of you may be casual, but most of you are um, political news hounds like myself. Well, that being said, this story is basically to help right a wrong and to, at the same time, kill two birds with one stone. Not only to right a wrong, or at least give voice to somebody that has been wronged severely, that has been literally butchered, the whole time using God as a shield, right? Like politicians and lawyers and doctors do. They will use the um, need that you have for comfort, for reassurance that everything is going to be okay. And in that hour of need, a lot of people and these doctors and these lawyers know this. They know in your hour of need, you're going to turn to a higher power. Not all of us are like that, but some of us are. A lot of us are. And this is one of the tools that the medical professionals and the lawyers and, you know, people that are supposed to be standing up for your rights and, um, you know, people that are responsible for your very life. So that being said, I got an email from a subscriber. Now, this subscriber just happened to live in Texas, like me, just happened to live in the greater Houston area, as I do. I've been able to meet with this individual, and this individual actually gave me the paperwork that you guys are going to be looking at today. Why do they attract doctors and lawyers to our political machine so much? Well, folks, it's because they are seasoned liars. These are the people that will look you in the eye and lie to you without missing a beat. They will lie to your face. They will tell you in your hour of need, they will tell you, what you want to hear, right? What you need to hear to sign on the dotted line. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump headfirst into this story. Now, this story is about a doctor, a lying doctor that is not only a doctor who has injured, I'm sure, thousands of individuals based on the way that he treated Mr. Suggs. 
Mr. Jeff Suggs is a subscriber, and he's given me permission to go ahead and give his name and to post his information on here so that everyone can get a feel for the agony that this man has been forced to undergo at the hands of one corrupt doctor that is not only a corrupt doctor, well, now he is a corrupt politician. Like I said, he's not on the national stage yet. We need to make sure he never gets any further in the political machine. So this doctor that is now a representative for Texas, my state of Texas, is Dr. Greg Bonham. And Dr. Bonham is a representative for the 24th District of Texas, right there in Galveston. I'm sure a lot of you folks have either heard of Galveston or you have been to Galveston or you know somebody who has been to Galveston, right? So um, he is a representative for Galveston. Now, this piece of work it doesn't have any business representing anyone, not even a dog. So this uh, representative, Dr. Bonham, worked on Mr. Suggs after Mr. Suggs had traumatic back injury. Now, the back injury was severe. There were multiple levels that had to be operated on. Now, Dr. Bonham, being the genius that he is, decided to do microsurgery on multiple levels. I mean, I'm looking, I'm not a doctor, but I'm looking and you're looking at the post-op report. And all you can see, folks, is redo, 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 revision, redo. Now, the op report you're looking at is after surgery number three. Hell, it could have been four. I'm not really sure. I'll leave Mr. Suggs' email address on here so that if you want to converse with him later, feel free to. I'm sure he'd be glad to hear from you. So Mr. Um, I mean, Dr. Bonham, it's hard for me to call this um, piece of crap liar a doctor. He's more akin to a torture specialist. So this piece of work, Dr. Greg Bonham, representative for the 24th District of Galveston, did a microsurgery on many levels, on multiple, multiple levels. Any of you doctors out there and you're looking at this op report, number one, if you're an orthopedic surgeon, you know you cannot do a microsurgery on multiple levels cannot be done. But Mr. Bonham, excuse me, Dr. Bonham, again, Freudian slip, he had Mr. Suggs in there. And each time that he would um, do a surgery, and he, did, he had to do many surgeries, folks. And to begin with, it was uh, basically a simple laminectomy on multiple levels. Should have been in and out and we know with a six to eight weeks of recovery, back to work. But since he refused to do the correct surgery, he had a new machine he wanted to try out basically, and Mr. Suggs was the guinea pig. So since he refused to use the standard equipment and do the standard surgeries, he um, went to work butchering Mr. Suggs. Now, there was a neurologist there as well. Her name is Dr. Monday. Now, Dr. Monday, she was there watching the vitals. She was the neurologist that is in the other room or at a remote location watching to make sure that Dr. Bonham does not hit any nerves does not hit anything he's not supposed to be uh, getting next to or close to. Well, Dr. Monday, I'm not sure if she was even there because she never spoke up whenever this doctor 
was butchering Mr. Suggs. Not one, not two, but three surgeries, folks. Never spoke up. Never said, hey, you're getting close to this facet joint. Never said, hey, you're getting close to this nerve. Never said anything. Long story short, after this dastardly demonic duo butchered Mr. Suggs, the first time Dr. Bonham comes in to Mr. Suggs's bedside with his wife there, distraught, and the whole time he's trying to reassure Mr. Suggs, he's twirling a cross, using religion to manipulate Mr. Suggs. Now, Mr. Suggs may or may not be a religious person, but to use religion to manipulate an individual into you butchering him a second time is just abhorrible. It's, it's just completely sickening. An aberration of your religion, if you indeed believe in what you say. Of course, Dr. Bonham does not, or he would have referred Mr. Suggs out after the first botched surgery. So then he botched his surgery again. The same routine, brought him in, twirled his cross, told him everything was going to be okay, and started praying with him, folks. Started praying with him. Started to manipulate him once again into a third surgery. So after three surgeries, from the manipulative, lying piece of crap, Dr. Greg Bonham... Mr. Suggs, you know, after he recovered enough to find a lawyer, well, he had a hard time finding a lawyer because I'm not sure if you're familiar with the laws here in Texas, but in 2004, you know, oh, George W., right? He forced through, but it's not all his fault because the constituency here in Houston refused to go vote against it. So they voted on a law that cut the knees out from any type of medical protection from medical malpractice here in Texas. So that being said, Mr. Suggs just tried to find an attorney, tried to find an attorney, finally found an attorney, and then his new doctor refused to, even after doing the corrective surgery, and it might have been multiple surgeries. It might have been two surgeries. But even after seeing all that and knowing how Mr. Suggs was butchered and how he was treated like an animal, hell, worse than an animal. If you did this to an animal, you'd be put in jail by the SPCA, okay? That's just the cold, hard facts. So we don't even have the protection of an animal here in Texas. And his new doctor, Dr. Francis, he finally found a lawyer, but he needed a doctor to uh, look at the situation, to honestly talk about the situation, and write a statement out to the uh, lawyer. Well, this doctor, knowing, folks, if you're a doctor out there, if you have been wronged by a doctor, knowing that these doctors, number one, protect each other, Right, Just like there's a thin blue line, there's a thin white line as well that they protect each other. Number one for my research is because of the referral fees. They don't want to, number one, they don't want to miss out on a $3,000 referral fee from each and every doctor that they come in contact with. They also, like Dr. Francis told Mr. Suggs, Dr. Richard Francis, told Mr. Suggs, hey, I don't want to see Dr. Bonham at a convention and have to avoid him because I stood up for you, my patient. That was a synopsis of the conversation. So these doctors protect each other. They are seasoned liars just like the lawyers, folks. Once again, doctor, and I use the term very, very, very loosely, Dr. Greg Bonham. He is the representative for the 24th District 
of Texas. They're in Galveston. Folks, if you live in Galveston, if you live in the 24th district, hell, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have a Twitter page that has the reach where you can reach the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, then you should reach out to them and say, hey, I don't you know, know if you know Greg Bonham, Governor Abbott, but if you do, you should be a man and castigate him for butchering patients and manipulating patients using religion. If you're one of the constituents of Dr. Greg Bonham there in Galveston in the 24th district, you need to call him. You need to let him know that there is no way in hell that he will ever be reelected to the 24th district. And here's a laugh, folks. You know, Dr. Bonham was appointed by Governor Abbott uh, not too long ago, I believe it was last year. And he was appointed to, you're going to get a laugh out of this, he was appointed to the House Select Committee on Mental Health. You look at the guy, and by his actions, he's as crazy as a freaking loon. And this is a guy that has been appointed, he was appointed to the Committee on Mental Health. He should be a patient of the mental health community. Not on a committee judging people. He should be the one that is judged, folks. He shouldn't be judging anybody. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this video to a close. I know it's getting kind of long in the tooth, folks. But I would ask each and every one of you, just like Mr. Suggs, if you have any issues that you want myself, Joe Wayne, and the anti COINTEL Pro Show to tackle for you, to give voice to, send me an email. Send me an email at my private email address, Joe Wayne at instinctforsurvival.com. And I will do my very best, as I have for Mr. Jeff Suggs, to give voice and to put a spotlight on, you know, the person that wronged you. If I can do that, if I can help just one person, then, you know, I can think of myself and I will think of myself as a success. That's right. Because that's what we're all here for, right? Here in the alt-right media, you know, everyone thinks that we're racist, right? Because Hillary, the Hildebeest, the Killery, the Shillery, <sighs> Hillary Clinton. And Hillary Clinton, of course, a lawyer. Her husband, Bill Clinton, a lawyer. Half of them are lawyers, half of them are doctors because they're seasoned liars. Well, don't let Dr. Greg Bonham, folks, go any further. Cut him off at the knees the way that he did his patients and the way that he does his patients. I'm only assuming. I can't get in his head, but from his past actions... I do judge him. That's how we can judge anybody, folks. On their record. On their record of achievements or their record of barbaric butcher sessions. This is Joe Wayne with the Anti COINTEL Pro Show and InstinctForSurvival.com. Good day. you're going to turn to a higher power. Not all of us are like that, but some of us are. 
A lot of us are. And this is one of the tools that the medical professionals and the lawyers and, you know, people that are supposed to be standing up for your rights and, um, you know, people that are responsible for your very life. So that being said, I got an email from a subscriber. Now, this subscriber just happened to live in Texas, like me, just happened to live in the greater Houston area, as I do. I've been able to petitions on the national stage, get to the national stage. Now, first and foremost, folks, I'm sure that you all know, um, if you're watching this channel, then you are a politically astute person. You're not a casual observer of politics or news. You're a junkie like myself, right? Some of you may be casual, but most of you are um, political news hounds like myself. Well, that being said, this story is basically to help right a wrong and to at the same time kill two birds with one This is Joe Wayne with the anti COINTEL Pro Show and InstinctForSurvival.com. Well, folks, I have a different video for you today. Now, this video is not focusing on the big picture like I normally do. This video is going to be centered on the lives of the corrupt puppet politicians. Stone, not only to right or wrong, or at least give voice to somebody that has been wronged severely, that has been literally butchered the whole time using God as a shield, right? Like politicians and lawyers and doctors do. They will use the um, need that you have for comfort, for reassurance that everything is going to be okay. And in that hour of need, a lot of people and these doctors and these lawyers know this. They know in your hour, before they get onto the national stage, I had a respondent, a subscriber. Now, this subscriber was basically butchered. And he was butchered by a doctor, not once, not twice, but three times, folks. Butchered three times. Now, and the reason I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this story, I'm, I'm you know, doing a lead up to um, the actual video is, like I said, I want you to be able to get a feel uh, for what's going on. Before these puppet politicians,